Hello everyone. Thank you so much for coming to watch this video once again. Uh, you call me Mercy. Okay? So, in today's video, there's something I want to share with you. Uh, we had visitors yesterday. So, since this is a new house, some people, they would like, like to, to come in the kitchen, check, to go maybe somewhere, you know? Women, okay? So, women do associate so much. And this is why, by the way, I like women. Women, sometimes we always put our mind and say women are so hard to associate with. But these women, they are so, so lovely. Okay? So, there is this... There is one lady who came into the kitchen. She found us in the kitchen. And uh, we, we started discussing about some things. Uh, she, asked, she asked us some things, how we do, like kitchen work, you know. So all that. So she was free and we were free towards her. Then she told us how she she's having um, a maid from Africa in a certain country. But this maid... She came with her rules. She came with the rules in someone's house. This maid told them that in their culture, uh, women who are not yet like married, they don't cook. So for her, she doesn't cook. She doesn't do anything like cooking. She doesn't cut onions. That is one. She doesn't cook for them. So the husband and the wife, they do go to work. But still, since this housemaid doesn't cook, the woman, before she goes to work, she has to first cook for the maid after she goes to work. If sometimes she gets late, maybe, the husband has to cook for the wife, for the maid. Imagine imagine you know the husband or the boss the man who is the boss has also sometimes to cook for this maid before he goes to work in africa if you know you are a woman it is your responsibility all, all the kitchen responsibilities are for you. Hmm? So we, we don't always like give these responsibilities to men. But all the way from your country to these countries still, that because you said you cannot cook, that for you, you if you're not yet married in your culture, you cannot cook. So what was the purpose for you to leave your country to come to these countries if it is not kitchen work cleaning you know so what else do we need to do really ladies i thought it was a joke some ladies we do or some housemaids we do pretend by the way and our pretense is not necessary sometimes Okay, fine. If you don't want to cook for them, at least you go and help this woman in the kitchen. But don't say in our culture. Does your culture really... How does your culture come into this housemaid job? Okay, fine. It is in your culture. But then if you bring your culture into this housemaid job, sincerely, this is not unfair. Pretenders. Housemaids who are pretenders. So at times, if they are so busy, they cannot. If they cannot cook for her, like uh, before they go to work, they sometimes like uh, you know order for her from outside. Or if they go for a trip, like they want to spend, they want to spend there for like uh, some days. Still, they order for her. Like, they keep ordering for her the food every day, every day. Every day. So, the good thing, uh, it's like they don't have, like, uh, it's only the man and the wife. 
they don't have children but still you know it is not too much work like you know only taking care of two people and still you give them a burden of cooking for you because your culture does this or the other i can't imagine seeing the boss man coming into the kitchen to cook for me because i don't want to cook because our culture doesn't allow me to cook if i'm not yet married imagine anyway this maid maybe she has a good boss or their bosses are good you know but ladies let me tell you sometimes we are given a chance and we are taking this chance just for granted so just imagine she is let me say that is pretense that is pretense she told me the country of which i don't want to mention in this country if the women who are not yet married if they cannot go to the kitchen to do the kitchen work okay her kitchen in the she said her kitchen like the worker in the kitchen that she does it's only like cleaning the plates and that's all but the cooking she doesn't even cut onions so it's only just washing and that's all housemaids there are things that we are just taking for granted for sure. we are just given a chance to learn whereby we are not paying anyone we are just given a chance where to get some skills but still we are taking things for granted things might turn out when you have nothing in your head when you have totally nothing like money the money these people that we always send the money back you can't know whether they are keeping your money whether they are you know so it's just we are just here not knowing what we will find back home so instead of using this chance like you get some skills of which if you don't find your money you can do something from your from the skills that you've been like getting from this kitchen but you're here pretending that for me i'm not yet married uh since i'm not yet married so i cannot go to the kitchen to cook i cannot go to the kitchen to cut on i cannot go to the kitchen to do kitchen work just imagine little ladies little girls